This is part 6 of SQL Survey Interview Questions and Answers video series. In this video, we'll discuss how to transform rows into columns in SQL Server. This is yet another common interview question. To get the best out of this video, I strongly recommend to watch part 54 from SQL Server Tutorial for Beginners video series. In part 54, we discuss the basics of pivot operator. So if you're new to pivot operator, I strongly recommend to watch that video first. And here is the interview question. Write a SQL query to transpose these rows into columns. If you notice, United States of America has got three rows, one for each of the cities within that country. And the same is the case for India and UK. And if you look at the result set on the right hand side, these city rows are actually converted into columns as you can see here. So let's see how to transpose these rows into columns. Obviously the first step here is to create the table itself which I have already done. And here is the SQL script to create the table and the SQL script to populate it with some test data. I'll have the script available on my blog in case you need it. Now let's look at writing the query itself. So we want to select some columns from country's table. So the columns that I want to select are country, city and row number. In a bit, we'll discuss uh, you know, the purpose of generating this row number. And to generate the row number, I'm going to use row number function. Again, we discussed the basics of row number function in SQL Server tutorial. So if you're new to using this function, I strongly recommend to watch that video first. So we want to select row number over a data set that is partitioned by country column, and that is ordered by country column. And let's give this row number a column name and let's call this maybe column sequence. And let's execute the select query and see the output that we get. So we get the row number there. And the reason for generating this row number, and look at this, the row numbers are unique only within you know, for a given country. So for India, row numbers 1 to 3, for UK 1 to 3, and for USA 1 to 3. And the reason for generating these row numbers is, look at what we want in the output. We want the column names to be city 1, city 2, city 3. Now to generate those column names, what I am going to do is concatenate the word city to these numbers. And to achieve that, the easiest way is to simply you know, append this text city to whatever number this row number function is returning. Now when we execute this query, we are going to get an error at runtime, error converting data type varchar to begin. That's because city here is varchar, whereas the number that this row number is returning is of type begin. And when we apply this operand plus between those two data types, we are going to get this error. And the solution to this problem is to simply convert the number to varchar. And the way we do that is by using cast function. So let's use cast function. And what we want to do is cast the row number as varchar of 10. Now let's execute this and see the output that we get. So we get city 1, city 2, city 3. Now this is the select query which is going to return us the result set on which we are going to apply the pivot operator. At the moment, notice the city 1, city 2, city 3. These are still rows within the result set. In a bit, we'll see how to use the pivot operator which is going to transpose these rows into columns. Okay, so let's give this result set a name. So let's say, let's call this maybe temp. And then from this result set, we want to select. So what do we want in the output? We want country, city 1, city 2, and city 3. Now, at the moment, this result set is giving us the data that we want. You know, we have the country, we have city 1, city 2, city 3, and the respective cities as well. But still, these are rows. Okay, so let's actually say we want city 1, city 2, and city 3. So that's what we want in the output. Now these are still rows. The pivot operator that we are going to apply in just a bit on this result set is going to transpose these rows into columns. And then this select query will be able to select that. So now let's go ahead and apply the pivot operator. 
And if you recollect the syntax of pivot operator from part 54 of this video series, the first thing that we need to specify here is the aggregate function. So I'm going to use max aggregate function now. When we use max or min, it doesn't really make any difference, at least for this query. But to satisfy the syntax, I'm going to use this max aggregate function. And the column is going to be city, because that's what we want to pivot. OK? And then we're going to use the for keyword. And then we have to specify here the name of the column, which contains the values that we want to transpose uh, to become columns. So here, column sequence is containing this city1, city2, city3. So that's the column which contains the values that should effectively become the pivoted columns. OK? So here, the name of the column is going to be column sequence. And then we need to specify the pivoted columns. OK? So what are the columns that we want to pivot? CD1, CD2, and CD3. And that's what we specify in the list here. So for in CD1, CD2, and CD3. And let's give this pivot an alias. Let's call it pivot. So we want to select these four columns from this result set. Okay? And then this pivot is going to transform these rows into columns. And once that is done, we want to select country, CD1, CD2, and CD3. So let's execute the select query and see the output that we get. So notice that we have one row for each country. And then the CD rows themselves have become columns. OK? All right. Now, here, if you look at the data that we have for each of the countries, there are three cities at the maximum. And you know we get all those three cities as expected. Now, what happens if one of the countries is going to have a fourth city? Now, let's see. Let's look at that in action. So let's insert some test data into this countries table. So insert into countries. And I'm going to insert you know, a city for India. So let's say India is the country and Chennai is the city. So when we execute this query, now if you look at country India, it has got four cities. Okay? But then when we execute the query that we have just written, it is only going to select three cities. Okay, it's not going to select the fourth city. Okay, so why is that? That's basically because you only told your select query. So let's execute this query, which is going to return us the data, uh, you know, on which pivot operator will be applied. So here, if you look at city four, New Delhi, and that's not retrieved or displayed within the output. Okay, why is that? That's because we are only pivoting three columns, I mean three rows here, that is city one, city two, city three, and not the fourth one. So we want to pivot the fourth city as well, if, the, if you have four of them. And then you want to select that within your final result. OK, so let's go ahead and execute this one. And now notice that we have fourth city for India, but for the UK and the US, there's no fourth city. And that's why there is plain null values. All right, so we have just seen how to use the pivot operator and transpose rows to columns. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.